while performing visual field test some patients will press the response button not in response to seeing a stimulus but at random resulting in a classical trigger happy feel this can be identified by 10 pointers as shown in this single field analysis printout of humphrey visual field 24-2 ceta standard test of the right eye patient will respond to a stimulus in the blind spot location and artifactually cause high fixation loss rate flagged as xx and also high false positive response flagged with xx numeric data shows unusually high measured threshold sensitivity values at some points in the range of 50 decibels the value that no human can see gray scale shows white scotomas which are patches of abnormally light or entire areas of white tones total deviation numeric plot shows high false positive deviation from age matched normal subjects comparison of total deviation probability plot and pattern deviation probability plot shows that the pdpp is worse than the tdpp also known as reverse cataract pattern it is due to a greater number of depressed test point location in the pattern deviation map with statistically significant loss than in the total deviation map mean deviation index shows strikingly high positive value and pattern standard deviation shows a high positive value because the test points show irregularity and inconsistency in the threshold sensitivity values glaucoma hemifield test represents a abnormally high sensitivity message and a message of excessive high false positive is displayed the false positive index is the most useful of the reliability indices in ceta strategy the false positive rate is based upon the assessment of patient's reaction time over the entire course of the test and hence is not calculated until the test is completed therefore it is important for the perimetrist to be alert and recognize the signs early during the test such as high fixation loss despite good fixation as seen on the screen monitor unusually high retinal sensitivity values and then reinstruct the patient if the test is completed it should be repeated this is important as the false positive rates of more than 15% results in unreliable test results and also automatically removed from the glaucoma progression analysis